Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're here today at Divuniac Springs Public Library speaking with Laura Moray. Um, if you hear children in the background, that's because we're here doing preschool story time. Uh, we just wanted to get an opportunity to, for you to tell us, you know, a little bit about yourself and how you came to uh, Defuniac Springs Library. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, that's a kind of a long story, but um, my name again, like she said, is Laura Moray. I have a master's in library science. I got it at the University of South Carolina. I focus in archives and um, my undergrad is in archaeology um, wow so yeah I love so this is a perfect place for me I get to do you know work with the public I do modern books order books I get to but I also get to do a little bit of the historic part with this very historic building an important building to the community here in Dupiniac um, I came here I moved here to Dupiniac Springs after Hurricane Michael um, kind of changed our life course a little bit. We used to live in Callaway and I worked as the local history librarian for the Bay County Public Library. And so I was driving back and forth and when this job opened up I was super excited and applied and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> well as you were talking about the history, um, was this always a library? Oh yes, it absolutely. Okay. We were built. Um, the, the Ladies Library Association formed in 1886 and they went on a campaign to build the Phoenix Springs a library. Um, as it was very important they have a library um, since the Florida to Chautauqua was, was all about um, trying to be learning and education and all of that. So they, the building was actually completed in 1887 and we've been a library ever since. Wow, that is mm -hmm. amazing. Um, I noticed that there's a lot of gardens surrounding the building. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys do events outside or just indoor events as well? No, we do inside and outside events. Um, the The garden is actually maintained by the um, Dufiniac Springs Garden Club and they're actually out there today working on it. They've been doing some updates, improvements, some landscape work. Um, and there's a little fountain they added with a little gnome village. It's super cute. We wanted to do some of the uh, outdoor, uh -huh. but uh, a storm is a brewing. Yes. <laughs> so, so um, tell me about the armament. I noticed there's swords mm -hmm. all the way around. Yes, so the, that is the Bruce collection. Um, Wallace and Kenneth Bruce was father and son. They were important presidents of the Chautauqua movement. They were also had ties to Scotland. Um, Wallace Bruce was a consul to Scotland, and he this was his personal hobby. He collected all of the weaponry. Um, he donated it to Palmer College, which was here in the city. And in the 30s, Palmer College went bankrupt, and so they don't they owed money to the city of Dufiniac Springs, so they donated it to the city. And so eventually, the city put what was left here in um, the library. It's very it's very interesting. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and what events do you have? Obviously, <laughs> preschool reading time. Yes. What other events do you have during the, during the month? Okay. So since COVID, we shut down. We're slowly trying to get back up and running again. Um, we have chess club for all ages on Wednesday afternoons. We have the writers group, which meets the first and the third Saturdays at 10 o'clock. Um, that's also for all ages. Um, mostly adults come, but it's for everybody. Um, we have the uh, Read a Lot Book Club, which is the first Tuesday of the month at um, 11 o'clock. Of course, preschool story times every 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. <laughs> and we have a knit group that meets on Tuesday nights at 6:30. Wow, and um, what kind? Of, what hope? What hopes do you have for future niches? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I would love to increase adult programming. Um, I've been doing that a little bit this year. We've had some genealogy classes. Uh, we've had how to write your story classes. We've had some history uh, lectures. Um, so I want people can look forward to more of that coming up. Um, we're also working on our summer reading program, which is gonna it's. The theme is Oceans of Possibility, so that we're, that's a great theme for us since we're so close to the Gulf. And um, it's going to have all programming for all ages. It's going to have movie nights, we're going to have adult crafting, we're going to have painting for kids and adults, um, we're going to have just um, color breaks for the adults, we're going to have lots of presenters and speakers coming for the kids uh, weekly, and that starts June 6th. 
That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, are you looking for volunteers at all during during the summer or volunteers at the library? I know a lot of the city looks for volunteers for different things. Uh -huh. At this point, not as much. Now, if the children, if the students, the high schoolers need volunteer hours, they can come see us. Uh, we can try to work out with them. We've also are allowing them to do like book reviews and to help us create social media content and we count those as volunteer hours as well. So yeah, they can come on by and we'll see what, how we can help for the kids. Well, having a few books here, do you, do you, um, obviously I've donated the books here. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have, often do you ask other authors to donate books or? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, anytime. We love our local authors here. So we, if you have a book that you've written, we take all the donations, we add them to the collection. And eventually one of my dreams, which I haven't gotten to pull off yet, but is a local author book fair. So that's one of the things I really want to get up and running at some point. I would love so, to be involved in that. Yes, that would be fun. Awesome. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Um, well, I think that's that we covered the basis of it. Um, mm -hmm. I, it was just lovely to meet oh, you yes. and just lovely to come and be at the library. Mm -hmm. I, I hope that we can come back again and do a tour of the grounds when it's not yes. threatening oh, <laughs> to yes. downpour all absolutely. over us. <laughs> and, um, and we'd love to spend some more time with you in the yeah, future. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to have you. Thank you. Okay, and we are back. Um, we are again talking with Laura Mori and we, she's going to tell us a little bit about the armament and some of the books here in the foyer. Yes. Uh huh. So these in the case here, um, the white writing on them, these are part of the original library collections when the doors opened in 1887. So these are behind glass, they're kind of important to us, they're special. Um, when we go in and put the armament, the we think that that is the oldest weapon that we have from the Crusades. Um, that's the oldest one, broadsword there. We have other historic items in the library. We have a stereoscope with a stereo card. It's an early way to view 3D images. So when you look through the glass, the images kind of blur together and makes it pop out, making a 3D shape. So it's an early version of that. Yeah, so this is a set of Persian chain mail that's on the wall. We used to have a Persian shield, but it's back down in storage. Um, but yeah, so that it's very old, very unique. People, the kids especially, they love it. So it is an authentic conquistador helmet. A lot of people will ask, did it come from the lake? Um, no, it's not local, because uh, he did go overseas to collect all of the pieces that you see here. Um, this library holds probably about a tenth of the original collection.